my gym safety, but before I start off with anything, I need you guys to just check out this video and make sure, I'll play it twice, that you pay attention to what this boy is doing. Okay, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear the volume. Is it, okay, try it out. <laughs> So I, what's happening in this video right now is this boy, he's, he's bench pressing, right? right? That's obviously what he's doing, that's the movement that he's doing. But I, I want to ask you guys, Tate, especially because I know you go to the gym, right? Maybe two, Mr. Hayes, what is wrong here in this, in this video? What is, what's going on? How, how can he like avoid failing that, uh, that bench press? Like, what could he do? What could he do? Avoid oh, his body. The spar, yeah, that's, that's one of them, that's one of them. There's no spotter there. Spotters, they're meant to help you if you can't get the weight up, right? But, all right, that's, that's, that's one of the good things. But before that, right, like, what's, uh, like, the thing that causes him not to be able to get it up? I don't know his form about that. His form, that's, his, that's his two. His elbows are out, his elbows are out. His elbows are out, yeah, 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 okay, form. All right, we've got form, we got spotter. Those are two things, and the final thing is that he picked a weight too heavy, right? Too heavy for him to handle. He should have chosen that weight, right, if he knew that he couldn't get it up. That's ego lifting. That's ego lifting. And one more time, I will do like a play-by-play -play by it, right? Unracks the weight, his head goes up, the form's bad. He can't get it up, no spot to help him out. Then he screams oxygen because he can't breathe. That's not a good bench press. That's not a good bench press. And this is why we need gym safety. You know, because this is only one of the uh, smaller like consequences of not lifting safely. Okay, so the first issue here is that he's picking a weight that he can't get up on his own. When he goes back down, he fails. That is ego lifting. Ego lifting, um, according to the HoneHealth.com website, uh, is when someone attempts to lift more weight than they should. It's, it's very very simple, right? Obviously, that's what he's doing here. Okay, so. In this case, ego lifting, right, it can result in a, a stunt in overall gains. Uh, it can lead to injury, and uh, it takes away all the benefits of, of lifting altogether. Uh, his form obviously was off, right? His ego is too big, you know what I mean? Like, he's lifting that weight, he can't get it. His form, his elbows are flared out, like you said, Devin, and his head goes up. Ruins the whole entire thing. The benefits of lifting with good form here, in this case, is training with a full range of motion, okay? Ego lifting hinders your ability to train with a full range of motion, okay? So I'm just gonna list off a few of the benefits of uh, training with a full range of motion. Uh, you get more strength gain with a full range of motion. Uh, you have additional muscle size growth and increased flexibility in the muscle groups that you're hitting, okay? So drop that ego, okay? Make sure you're lifting safely with good form, right? But uh, like you said, Tate, uh, the boy, right, he picked the wrong way. Obviously, he couldn't get it up, right? That's where the spotter should be, right? That's where the spotter should be, uh, helping him up as he goes there, as he uh, does that way, right? And this is a really interesting fact that I learned from um, the uh, DOI.org. I don't know what that stands for, but it's uh, about, like, lifting performance. That's the site that it shows. But um, spotting... Right, according to the National Library of Medicine, uh, can improve your performance in lifts. Right, this was measured through uh, a concept called RPE, which means rate of preserved exertion. Right, so your RPE increases as somebody is spotting you because um, it increases like your uh, the efficacy of your lifts. So like how efficient it be. Right, you have that confidence knowing that if I fail this weight, I can get it up. Therefore, you can push even harder, right? And that's what can get him up. And this, honestly, like, it was too heavy of a weight, but if he lowered it down, he had a spotter, he could probably go heavier, you know what I mean? So that's the importance of the spotter there, and uh, that's mistake number two, not having a spotter. The uh, final mistake that he makes was uh, his um, quality, right? The quality of his lift, right? When you're lifting, just, Keep this in mind. If you want to get uh, started in lifting any sort of fitness, right, the quality of your reps will always be the quantity. Uh, we were talking about going to failure earlier with your lifts, right? Good form, right? Failure every single time. That's so much better than just 
smacking the ugly over and over again as hard as you can. That's not good, and that is a form break, and that um, that's just gonna strain your quality. Uh, and to increase the quality of your lifts, as you go heavier, here I don't see any equipment that he's using, but uh, my other visual is a picture of these uh, wrist wraps and, and lifting straps. Um, so what he could have used here is a wrist wrap. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to wrap it around your wrist, and it'll, it was kind of like the boxing video that we watched when you wrap his wrist around. It'll keep him tight, it'll make sure your form doesn't break, and your wrists are in a stable position so you can push that weight healthy. Okay. Uh, if you were talking about other lifts, like a deadlift, uh, these are where the lifting straps would come in, where you wrap the uh, strap itself around the bar, put it on your wrist, and you're able to grip the bar better, safer weight, easier to pull, so you can reach that max potential, get some good quality reps in. All right. Uh, according to the uh, according to Mayo Clinic, actually. Uh, when done correctly, weight training can help you lose fat, increase your strength, as we said before, uh, and muscle tone, and improve your bone density. So lifting correctly uh, with good form, right? Having your spotter and not ego lifting. Three very good things, core things to learn while um, you're getting into the gym, right? Uh, now the benefits of lifting, obviously I've stated a lot of them, are astronomical, right? Uh, they will, I don't know, just improve your life altogether. So when you're doing that, right, there's a starting point to everything, all right? And if you're starting out with lifting, right, the first thing you need to start off with is safety. Because safety, right, with the, the, the ego lifting, with the form, with spotters, that's gonna help you uh, on your journey with lifting, you know, as uh, with all things. So starting off with safety, it's gonna take time, but you're doing it safely. You're not gonna be injured, you know? You're picking the right way, you can just drop that ego, all right? Uh, so, Moral of the story is be safe, uh, especially with starting new things. It doesn't have to be just the gym, right? Uh, a lot of things, like biking. There are a lot of things that you can uh, choose to be safe in uh, with biking. Learning about those things and putting them in practice is what's going to get you that experience. Uh, that's my speech. Uh, any questions? Any questions? About lifting? Yeah? All right, that's all I got.